there's viewers watching me at home right away. This day, wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. But this season, I want to use this medium to open our eyes to some things, their heads, tips, they want us to be aware of at this period of time in Nigeria, here. Our weather now is a, you know, is a very cold weather that comes with moist, comes with dust, comes with wind, and all the rest. So I want us to, to give us a kind of tips to follow to make sure we're not affected by what is going on around the world today. Even for our children, they are very, very important. So this message is for we the parents as well as for the children, because we're going to be the one take care of the children as well. So I want to give us tips that make us to know to live healthy at this time, at this period, that we'll have a cold weather in Nigeria now. So first thing is that when you wake up in the morning and you discover the weather is very cold, Please make sure you take a hot shower and give your children a hot shower as well. Make sure you bathe for them with hot water. You yourself bathe with hot water. Make sure you are, you are protected. After bathing with hot water, number two thing is that moisturize your skin. Make sure you cream your skin either with gel, Vaseline or with lotion. Cream your skin, cream for your children as well because they too need to be creamed for. Because in this season, this weather comes with dryness that breaks the skin. It makes the skin to, to break up and very dry. And even our lips, the, the lips is, is, is the worst one. The lips become so dry and break. So in order to prevent the breakages in the skin and the body, make sure you cream your body and cream for the children that are going out of the house, even if they are at home. Cream for them, make sure their, their skin is moisturized, that the skin may be supple and glowing. It won't be dry at this season because this season comes with dryness of the skin, of the lips, of whatever. And so make sure that your lips you know, is lubricated. Make sure your skin is, is as well creamed so that it, it, it will be soft and supple and the, the, the lips will not break off when you put gel or balm on the skin. And number three thing is that by the time you are going out of the house, we all know that we are experiencing a new normal at this time now in the whole world, in the whole universe. Not only in Nigeria, that we need to take care of ourselves because just a few years now, coronavirus started. And everybody has to take care of themselves, protect themselves against all this virus. And that's why I'm here this day even to tell you that this season in our nation here is always a cold one. You know, we're very fortunate in this part of the world that we don't experience cold as much as other, other parts of the world experienced it. But this season is a very little cold weather and you know, a dryness and you know, wind as well. And when this wind, when this dry dust gets into hops, cough can set in, cold can set in, at the same time, you no know, kata can set in. So to prevent all these occurrences, which can affect our health, which can affect us, Parents and children, let us take very much importance and make sure we take care and protect ourselves. Like I said, what I'm saying, when you, when you get up from the bed, you make sure you take a hot shower for yourself and your children, cream your body, now go out now with nose mask or face mask. We all need to be going out with nose mask. Nose mask is now part of our dressing, you know, to prevent all this rubbish flying around in the world to prevent germs, to prevent viruses going around the world today. So let's have our nose mask on our nose and our mouth to prevent dust entering into us, to prevent all these germs entering into us. And our children as well. We should as well give them nose mask and put it on, on their mouth to cover and tell them they should not remove it, they should put it on their, on their nose and their mouth to prevent dust and germs entering into them. That is that. And at the same time, when we get back from work, when we get back from work, number one thing we should do is to wash our hands. That is where hygiene started from. We need to be washing our hands regularly. A regular wash of hands prevents so many things. Before you begin to eat or before you begin to cook, as women at home, as men that just come from work, make sure you go to your washing base, wash your hands with soap, with, with soap and water, you no, know, and sometimes use hand sanitizers. You know, make sure you, you put hand sanitizers in your children's bag while they are going to school or anywhere and tell them to make use of it. After playing with their, with their mates, after walking around in the, in, in, the, in the school, make sure they sanitize their hand with alcohol-based sanitizer and wash their hands. And when they get home back, make sure that they wash their hands 
as well before they begin to eat. Don't allow them to use or wash and to eat to prevent germs and viruses entering into us. That is that. And when we come back from work or from anywhere we have gone to, let us, after washing our hands, remove our clothes. Remove our clothes if the weather is in the hot at that time. Let us make sure we we'll take our bath right that afternoon. We take our bath this season. Make sure we take our bath and wash our hands, wash everything, and put on the light clothes. For, for, for example, especially we women that, that put on tight things to make our body fitted together and the clothes we are wearing fit us, put on our braziers, put on our power tight and everything. When we get home, please, let us remove our braziers and remove our pants and our tights and take a cold shower and relax and remove all those things and put on a light cloth. When you remove one, by the time we, we are going out in the morning and we put on those tight ones, it prevents, sometimes it prevents blood circulating regularly, circulating very well. But by the time we get home and we are free from work, let's remove all those things that is underwear, underneath us, so that there will be free circulation of blood and stuff. Because when blood is not circulating very well, many things can happen. Anything can, anything can happen. So let blood circulate. Remove it. Don't sleep with your braziers. Don't sleep with your tight. Make sure those things are, are, you know, are removed for you to have a free you know, sleep. And the children as well, that goes out with cardigans because when it's, it, it, it's cold in the, in the morning, you give them cardigan, you wear it for them. When they come back from school, remove the cardigan, remove their clothes, take them to the bedroom, give them you know, a cold shower right in the afternoon because by it gets to night, the weather begins to drop down again. And you'll not be able to bed for them or even bed for yourself. So give them you know, a cold shower in the afternoon and change their clothes. Remove those ones that have, they have worn out to school to anywhere. Remove it and put on them a light one and make sure they are neat all the time. When we are neat all the time, we prevent many things. We prevent diseases, we prevent sickness, we prevent so many things. But a dirty environment or a dirty person is you know, inviting diseases and germs into his or her body. So this day, I want us to know that this weather, we need to be very careful, take care of ourselves and our children, because they are the, they are the young ones that could not even explain what is going on. And, but before we leave home in the morning, your breakfast is very important, please. It's very important for the children. Don't allow your child to go to school without taking anything. It is not good. A child of five, maybe five to 10 and all those stuff, going to school and without anything. No, we don't allow that. You, you, you don't allow that. Even if it's hot tea with a slice of bread given to them, then pack the lunch in their bag for them to take to school. So you know, from 8 to 11 is a long time for them not to have eaten anything. And the brain works with food. If the child is, does not eat in the morning, to assimilate it is so difficult for that child. So make sure that they take a little bread and a, a hot tea in the morning. Even yourself as adult, as mother and father going to work in the morning, you might not be able to eat, but make sure you put something in your, in your, your stomach. Take a hot tea and a slice of bread before you leave home. You can now prepare your, your lunch and take along with you. And make sure your food is balanced. Please, let us try as much as possible to, to eat a balanced meal. And what do I mean by balanced? You don't need a lot of money sometimes to make a balanced meal. If you cook your rice, make sure your rice has fish or egg on it, and the one you are giving to your children, you no know, rice, you no know, has meat or, or egg on it, then a little carrot and a little cucumber. Just put on it a vegetable, you no, know, to make it a little bit balanced, and you eat it. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. When we take to all these things, we will say that we will live a healthy, and good life that will not be going to the hospital, coming back every day, going to the hospital, coming back every day. So not to prevent all these things. That's why I'm talking, I'm saying all this to us, that we should protect ourselves, protect our children, protect ourselves, protect our children from all this flying around. Make sure your hand is washed regularly. Make sure, make sure your nose mask is with you when you're going out and coming here. Make sure you take your bath. Make sure you brush your teeth. No, it's good to brush your teeth twice in a day, in the morning and in the night. In the morning and in the night, brush your teeth, brush for your children. It's very good. It makes, it makes your teeth so strong and very beautiful. And the last thing I will talk about is hydration. You know, make sure you drink water regularly. You no, know, drink water regularly. Water is very good for you. you no, know, the cork and the carbonated drink we are drinking, they don't satisfy our, our, our taste, but water does. So when you finish it, even without eating at all, make sure you drink water every day. Drink water, plenty of water. Drink it all the time. When you drink water, you flush away toxins from your body. 
because you, as, as much as you drink, you go to the toilet to urinate. And so, this will not stay in your body, toxins will be flushed out. So you, through your urine, you urinate. And the children as well as they're going to school, put water in their bag, tell them, drink water. Make sure you are hydrated all the time. Make sure you, you are drinking water all the time and drinking it plenty, not small. You know, when you, are, when, when you are dehydrated, many things can happen. But make sure you are hydrated. Drink water. The Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. As we are into this season of celebrating our Lord Jesus Christ, come to the world today. Say the peace of the Almighty God that surpasses every human understanding shall abide with every, every one of us. Because the Bible says he is a prince of peace and I know he has brought peace. So just make sure you take note of all these things I've talked, I've, I've talked about, about health at this season to prevent anything happening to us. The Lord will bless you. Have a wonderful Christmas. Have a wonderful New Year. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless you.